Kaja Vedder's PD Lib Builder is a library that is quite useful for compiling externals. I've downloaded the source code for this library into my projects folder, that's the PD Lib Builder master folder. As well, you'll need the pure data source code, which I have here as pure data master, and then my test directory for all of my pure data patches, and I'll go into that. And if I choose to open main PD, you'll see that Polybang is not initialized, and that's because we haven't compiled the external for Linux. So let's go ahead and close PD, and we'll head up one level. In order to build for Linux, we're going to need to create a make file and then tell the PD Lib Builder what to do with that. So let's open Sublime Text, create a new file, then let's save this file, and we'll save it within the test PD folder, and we'll title it make file with a capital M. No extension. Now, within this file, we'll write the parameters that PD Lib Builder will use to build the Linux external. First, we need to type the library name. So the pound sign is a comment that'll just be helpful for us to remember what we're doing. This entry will be lib.name equals, and then the name of our library, polybang. Next, we need to indicate the source file for the external. This is class.sources equals polybang.c. And this file is relative to the test PD folder. So note that polybang.c is within the same folder as the make file. Third, we need to include any other files that we want to include within the binary. So this is include other files. This entry is data files equals, and then we're going to minimally include the help file, polybang-help.pd. The last entry is the most important one. We have to include the make file for the PD Lib Builder. So include, and in my case, it's up one level in the PD Lib Builder master folder. So I have to go up one level and then PD Lib Builder master. And the file name is makefile pd lib builder. And now we need to head to the terminal. And let's change directory into the test pd folder. And let's go ahead and change into this folder here. And we need to run the make file. So make, and that will automatically look for the make file. But what's really important here is we need to include the following argument, pd include path equals, and this is a call to the m underscore pdh file. Actually, it's the source code for pd. And that's found one level up into pure data master and then into the source file. So we're gonna go one level up into pure data master into the source file, and then we'll run. With that, now if we go back to our pure data test folder, you can see that polybang.pd underscore Linux has been made, and if we run main.pd, there's polybang. Thanks for taking the time to watch this series. If you like what you see, take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel.